You know, just when you think you've come up with every conceivable way to despise, despise either Biden or this demented visage that he's thrust upon us. Just when you think you've seen, you know what? He can't do any more. Then he mistreats Gold Star families. In a nothing short of a deliberate, definitively focused and intentional disrespect to family members whose loved ones died and who don't want medals of honor or anything other than just basic respect and once and for all the immediate cessation in referencing this fantasy that Bo Biden died in Iraq. What the hell is this about? Let me discuss this in a little bit more thorough detail. But first, let me ask you, as always, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. But before I begin and continue, I should say, with my excoriation of this heartless administration, I ask you very simply to listen to these very profound words from our sponsor. The U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s when the dollar decoupled from gold, and the government seems bent on continuing the tradition. From now until after the next elections, the government can print as much money as they want. And the last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. This means one thing. The security of your future and your family's future is all in your hands. Make sure you freeze the value of your wealth that you are holding. Invest in gold with noble gold investments. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand recession, inflation, and just about all economic threats. Noble Gold Investments is here to help you. If you want to invest in gold, you will also get a 24 karat quarter ounce gold standard coin for free. So go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. Noblegoldinvestments.com. Tell them Lionel sent you. This is the only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. You know, I'll never understand how people don't get what their job is. Since the beginning of time, since the first battle under the aegis of the United States, presidents have made it a point no matter what their political accuracy is or their poignancy or their eloquence, to make sure they really nail it and try to hit it out of the park in reference to showing due reverence and respect for the brave men and women who gave their life in service to their country. This is a given. The Gettysburg Address was about, that's right, war. And the consecration of battlefields and Reagan, the greatest, even with the challenger, they've, I have, I, I, forgive me, but they've, in essence, met, been conjoined with God. And I mean, just beautiful. And, and, and Trump, you say whatever you want about Trump, as people do. He loved his military. He showed them absolute, utter, unmatched, unmistakable, unparalleled, deep reverence. But this guy, you think somebody would say, Mr. President, for the 50th time, Bo Biden died of brain cancer in Walter Reed. He didn't die in Iraq. His coffin did not come back with a flag on it. Where are you getting this from? which means either A, he's out of his tree, demented, and needs to be out of the job immediately, or he's not that way and deliberately doing it to maybe build up a case for, used to say a Section 8, but some type of non mentis deal when he's indicted or something, or obstinacy, or maybe he's just hallucinating. Listen to the stories. Listen to what these, these parents have gone through. Listen to what they've said. They, 
Each of them has shown tremendous disrespect. Some of them have been waiting for for uh, personal effects. Just little things. Just, just, I mean, understand why they died, how they died. You would think somebody would say at that office, whatever you do, get off your ass and we're going to write letters. We're going to have a special division of the White House, of whoever, to contact these people. I want them to hear from me constantly. Give them a phone number they can call. What can we do? Make sure there's a liaison with the Veterans Affairs or something titular, theoretical, anything. He doesn't even have the decency, just the regular, plain, old decency to even feign, pretend, contrive, act. This guy's a BS artist from way back. It's in his blood. This guy who, I mean, he he just does he just doesn't care whether he's nuzzling kids, smelling their hair, getting too close to women, saying inappropriate things, along with that vile waste of flesh, that evil seed, that spawn, that Luciferian sybarite. That, well, not concupiscent, but that vile, syphilitic, purulent, sebaceous cyst of a human being, maybe. That hunter. They just do like this. See, you're just a peasant to them. You're nothing. You don't mean anything. You don't understand something. You're not entitled to answers about anything. And while, while they're finding through a crust of pizza by matching DNA who the Gilgo killer was responsible. They can't find with 36 cameras, plasticine baggies, fingerprints and DNA whose dope that was. Come on! They don't care about you. They don't care anything about these family members. They care nothing about them. They mean nothing. That's the part I don't understand. That's the part that just, I, I don't know how to put it into words. I don't know. And what's interesting to me, what I find fascinating, you would think, you would think, you would think that if somebody who has been in office this long, what is it, 50 years? That whenever he can just turn on the schmaltz and do, and just you know the old expression, be sincere whether you mean it or not, to at least put on the display, invite the families. To, don't, don't acknowledge guilt, but at least act like you care. Act like Trump. You can talk to anybody from law enforcement to people in the military how Trump cared for these people. He cared for these people. He cared for them. He had an unmitigated, unparalleled respect for those in the military. There was nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. And you think, you, you would just think instinctively this Jadrul would do it, but he can't. Because there's no heart there. There's no soul. There's no connection. You don't mean, and when I mean you, it's we. We don't mean anything to them. Yeah, they come, they go, they die. Oh. My son lies, laptops, kids, whatever. I'm Joe Biden. When he's at, what was it, Dover Airport? He's looking at his, at his watch like, can we can we get this thing going? Can we, can we speed this up? And how? You would think somebody like Dr. Jill would sit there and say, now listen, Joe, for the last time, Bo didn't die in Iraq. Quit telling these family members. Quit trying to one-up them with fantasy. And especially, especially those who've died through suicide. They are just as dead and just as much of a victim and just the same 
and just as deserving of being revered than anybody else. This is a no-brainer. The man is psychopathic. He has no appreciation for consequence. He has no ability to be empathic. He is glib. He is plastic. He is artificial. His head and his heart are disconnected. He's an act. He is an act, an indifferent act above the law. Who wants to just walk around licking his ice cream cone, just waiting for the time, as he continues the lie that he and his son never discuss what his son did. As an American citizen, I yet again, not for the first time, but yet again, am disgusted. Because those family members, we are those family members. They're doing this to us. We all suffer from this. All right, dear friends, thank you so much. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please um, uh, hit that little bell so you're notified of new videos and the like. And frequent and patronize our great sponsors who make all of this possible. Along with your beautiful and wonderful eyes and minds. And now please comment as you see fit.